In the Glenwood Park area, this was one of Atlanta's most anticipated restaurants with one of Atlanta's biggest rock star chefs. Communal dining, a menu that changes nightly, Southern Fair dim sum? It's a gun show. When you heard Kevin Gillespie was opening a new restaurant and you heard it was Southern Fair dim sum, what did you think? I didn't. I had to experience it. Gun Show is our best attempt at fine dining while removing all the pretension that goes along with that traditionally. Rather than having a traditional format where you came and you sat down and you look at a menu and you order, we were gonna go all the way back to the beginning and, and say maybe we just serve food when it's ready, we serve food when it's at its best, and we bring it around to the guest and we, the chefs, describe our own dishes and you pick based on what looks good. You know, if it looks good and it smells good, it's probably a better, you know, deciding factor than the way it reads on a menu. And how did you like it so far? Uh, I'm loving it, yeah. It's, everything has been super fast. I love the pace of everything. The food has been great. Uh, a lot of interesting combinations. It's wonderful that we have such a talented person here in Atlanta, you know, opening this fun new concept restaurant. The menu changes at Gun Show every single day, um, and it's driven by the people who are making the food. When I, when I founded this restaurant, I knew that I wanted to give every single person in the kitchen a voice, and so rather than having a chef, Gun Show has a lot of chefs. It has a lot of people who get equal say-so in what happens, and so the menu is a mix-up of very traditional, very rustic, very modern, very contemporary, and it all lives in harmony with one another because everything is the highest quality products that we can begin with, and it's produced by people who love what they're doing. Stay tuned, Chef Gillespie dishes on unexpected visitors. Why the name and his take on fame. Here's what's so funny about the name of your restaurant. <laughs> when I came here for the, for the first time and I experienced the whole thing, I thought Gun Show was guns <laughs> and the food. <laughs> that is what I expected. I know it's nothing like that. Have you heard that before? Well, you know, we've all been really lifting some heavy plates over at the gym, so. Now, <laughs> now um, it, it is funny, like, it, it's a, people sometimes they go, is it gun show or is it gun show? And we go, you know, whichever. I don't know, whichever you like. <laughs> whichever you like best. <laughs> so, another experience about coming here is that everybody wants to see you. Yes. You're a rock star chef, you're back in the kitchen. What's that like? I mean, how many pictures do you take in one night? Uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 photos, and I probably, people are shocked though when I, this happened the other night, I brought some food to a table, I explained it, I dropped it off, and as I was walking away, I heard the woman go, holy crap, did he serve our food to us? Like, <laughs> they can't believe that I'm working in my own restaurant, like that I'm some sort of unicorn or something like that. I still have to shake pans to make a living. Like, I haven't reached the point of stardom that people believe I have. <laughs> At least you, not in my mind, I have. You are a unicorn. Oh, well, hey, you're I a, you're, a, you're a pork unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you are. With the dim sum style, right. you feel the pressure when you are coming to your table saying, try this. Right. And what if I say no? How does that make you feel? Oh, I, you know what? I've started to preface people at this point because I realized fairly quickly in that people felt guilty for saying no to things. It's okay. If you don't want something, please don't take it. Like, we are hoping that you only take what you want. You're not going to hurt anyone's feelings here. What is the biggest nightmare you've had here so far with people stalking you or <sighs> chasing you down? Well, for a little while, we didn't think about locking the kitchen door and I would randomly look up and find people standing directly next to me that I didn't know, which is startling for a number of reasons. Um, <laughs> but especially startling when those people actually have no intention of eating dinner, they just want to come hang out. Now, the communal dining aspect. Yes. When I ate here, I had the best time because I made friends with the people sitting That's next awesome. to me. Everybody was telling me, oh, you gotta try this, oh, you gotta try that. And then the next people that sat next to me, I couldn't wait to tell them what to try. Have you ever had an experience where people were not getting along or they may have been too loud <laughs> or something got crazy? Absolutely, we had one actually the other night where two people were really not into what we were doing. They, they walked in off the street, they weren't aware of what this restaurant was all about. And the guests next to them were having an amazing time and wanted to share that amazing time with everybody. I hope that people break down their, their little personal barriers. And that's why we built it like this, is that yeah. there is a riser. If you want to ignore the table next to you, you can. But at the same time, I have seen more people exchange phone numbers, make friends, stay after they were done eating just to have a drink with their newfound buds. and. I, I never expected in a million years for that to have happened so many times already. This restaurant and this cooking experience, this is from all of the people who work here. I hear this all the time, that 
It is the most work any of us have ever done, and it's also the most rewarding cooking experience any of us have ever had because finally the story of the food that you spend 12 hours a day working on, you get to tell that story yourself. And that's a very proud moment tableside, and it's very rewarding. Oh, well, cheers to that. Cheers.